I'm Golden Star. I'm Alfred Elias. And we're in Sacramento, California at Northern Natomas Community Center. And today we are going to show you how we run our photo booth business with this event. Let's get started. All right, guys, we're at the event. Yay, yes. just made it. It's hot. It is hot. So, hot. what's going on? Hey, there's no parking over here. There is no parking, but she said we could park in this loading area. That would be fine. Have you done this before? Illegally parked? All the time. <laughs> Every time we do an event, we double park. It's only illegal if you get caught. Well, hey, hey, that's the that's not the right mentality, bro. <laughs> but I got you. All right, guys. Who are you guys gonna talk to? Or Since you guys... I never met Miss Veronica, I'm assuming that's probably gonna be her over there next to the quince, Miss Bella. Hey, bro. Is that another photo booth over there? Look, they're sitting at the back right. Uh... No, I don't think it's another photo booth. I think it's for balloons. I think oh. the only photo booth here. Oh. Yeah. I was ready to slash some tires, bro. I got oh, you, bro. Yeah, I got yeah. your back. I know, I know you do. So what did the lady tell you? The mom. Is that who it was? Um, she asked me if I can help her with the with the tables because they got kind of messed up. And what she said, mean? and she said we look great and our shirts look great. Yeah, she did say we look great. She loved our shirts. Yeah, a lot of people ask me for help, but I um I have a good relationship with her. I, even though I never met her, but on the phone, we have a good relationship. How did you get this customer? So we work with um, lots of photo booth companies and we actually use a referral from Be Elite here in Sacramento. So another photo booth company. Another photo booth company. They, they were busy that day and they, they gave their uh, Ms. Veronica the referral for us because they really trust us and we really like working with them and yeah, and we booked them. All right, so here's a question. Are they your customers now or still Elite's customers? They're our customers now. Yeah. Uh, Elite, they're doing so good. They. They have so many bookings all the time. They're very established, very wonderful um, business out here in Sacramento. Very prosperous. Yeah, they're very great awesome. people. Awesome. Uh, they're so humble. They're so nice. Um, we met them at another convention, and we just been it's been clicked with them yeah. ever since. Right. A right. Wonderful husband and wife team. Oh, okay. Now, why don't you guys see that competition? You get why I asked though. There's a lot of businesses out there. Be like, I don't want to give them business no way. or my customers. How do you guys see it? There's. So many weddings, there's so many kids, there's so many events, and there's not enough photo booths. They're, they're just not. I'm just saying they're 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 already overbooked. So obviously there's still people. They said they had like people with ten people calling them for the same day. What's that telling you? Ten people and they were already booked. So yeah, it's definitely no competition. We work to eat with each other to help each other. After we bring everything in and we figure out where they want us, our host wants us to set up at, we find our spot, make sure it's by the outlet of course. We start with our photo booth and then we go to our backdrop and then we start putting out the, um, the prop table and the stanchions. We didn't have the stanchions and there'd be so many people at the prop table and the props got messed up or they got took and we couldn't keep control of them. It's a barricade. Always. Always. If we can, we try. Hey, something. How can you guys win with the Miami photo booth? It was the best looking booth out there. Um, even though our first photo booth we liked, the one we had at my nephew's graduation, there was no wow factor. It was like a box on a stick. And not, 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 not hating those ones, you know, that they're good. But for us, we wanted more elegance because we think events like this deserve more elegance and not wow factor. How long is that of you, believe? It takes me two hours. It takes me two hours. You're gonna make it? It's already like 2.30. I know. Someone took some bathroom breaks and... Have you ever been late before? Never. Never? No. For time today? Nah. No. Nah, we're not late. We, we, we'll, we'll get start it. The to win. So start, she wants to start to four. Oh yeah, we're good. Yeah. Okay, 
So, learning for the booth, you need to know a lot of stuff, technical stuff. How did you learn that? Um, a lot of it from PBI. They have a lot of information on their private Facebook. Uh, Jaime, he's always helpful with, with technical stuff. Pal. So if I ever have any problems, I call the customer support. They're always there. Um, they have tons of YouTube, PBI has tons of YouTube channels. Uh, their YouTube channel has tons of information. Okay. So yeah, mostly PBI has it all. When was the last time you called them and for what reason? Um, my flash kept flashing and I couldn't figure out why. And that was probably two months ago. And they gave me the new receivers. They told me to make sure that the, um, they walked me through what zombie was, zombie mode. Um, told me to always make sure I have fresh batteries in there. And it, you know, it fixed the problem. Shout out to Richard and Pal for that one. Hey, don't get started. I don't know if it's just you or, are you stressing or is this how you are? This is how I am. Okay. I, I have anxiety, so yeah. that's just how I am. All right, cool. I just wanted to make sure, you know? I didn't want to bother you. No, <laughs> no, no. This is my, my personality. Hey, well, you're on it. You're on it. I want them to, I want to be perfect all the time. I know you can't be, but I can always strive at least. Okay, how much did you charge for how much time? So it's a military family, so they got a discount. So it was seven fifty. I'm sorry, six fifty for three hours. Still pretty good. And then we did, um, we threw in the, the carpet and the gold stanchions because we usually charge 150. That was a free add on. And then we did the custom screen for them. You know, we got to help, our, we got to respect our military family, right? They're out there mm -hmm. working hard for us. Any other discount you guys do? You know, um, I'm a military, I'm a senior, what about first time dad? During, <laughs> during the week, if it's a week event, we'll do $50 off or a free upgrade to four by six prints. And then um, we're with a lot of like the Stockton Chambers, so all of our Stockton Chambers also get like $100 off of any event they, they have. Or free upgrades. I'd rather do a free upgrade, because they're free for me. <laughs> Looks like it, baby, look. I bring this one just in case. Yeah. Yeah, you wanna run it down the middle? You wanna like just run it in the middle? You wanna? Yeah. You wanna try what it looks like? Yeah. If you don't like it, then we'll just. I don't know what color it was gonna be. Or she, she, she was very specific, Tiffany Blue. Like every 10 minutes, Tiffany Blue. It's Tiffany Blue. So, I had to Google Tiffany Blue because I didn't know what that was. So, is this an add on? Is this what she requested? Or? I'm just gonna, this is just free. This is free. <laughs> I, want, I want to stand out and be the best I can. Hey, but this is what it takes. You're doing it already. But I, no? you know, I enjoy it. I no. enjoy it. I figure. If I could do it free for someone and someone likes and sees it, then they'll pay for it. But if no one's paying for it, then how will people know what I got? Did you buy this specifically for this event? Or? Yeah. Hey. But they have Tiffany Blue in them. And no, it, I, I didn't charge them. <laughs> <laughs> how much did it cost you? I think it was like 25. But I can reuse them. Okay, okay. I can reuse them. I'm not using all of them. See, I'm not using all of them. I'm just picking some out that like, kind of pertain to her. Yes, please make sure they're like for this, you know, their wedding or quince. You don't want to show up with just a basic prop. You want your event to stand out. All right, so you've got 45 minutes. What's left in the setup? Just making sure the lighting is right and we can see what, what, what we want to see. It's not just showing feet or it's not showing a half a person. Hey, so the graphics right here, did you make that? I, made, I made these. These are mine. So this is actually her dress. This is her dress. Her mom gave me the um, the photos, and I just created something. I like creating. I find that it's it's just relaxing. It's really zen. It's something I, I enjoy doing a lot. I want to give my customers that extra, just as that extra uniqueness to their event. Let's see how you look. Print it out. And in three, two, one, cheese. One thing I like about this one, the DS camera is so fast, so even though he's moving, it still captures it. There's not that blur. Let's reprint this baby. Hey guys, so the DJ just came out. Great network opportunities? Great networking. Yeah. Anytime there's a caterer, there's an event coordinator, very politely go introduce yourself. You have to build a network because how else are you gonna get known? You work with them, 
You post them on your Instagram, your Facebook, they repost it. Now their followers are following you and vice versa. You're helping each other. You're building that network. So go take your selfies, go introduce. Be very polite when you introduce yourself. So I'm like, hey, I've got the photo booth over there. And I'm like, hi, my name is introduced, you know, correctly. Because first impressions make a, a, a big um, difference. Hey, so what's going on? Right now our printer's saying, Aunt, can I find you? Where are you hiding, bro? And that's why you come early. That's yeah, why. That's why we set up. Even though it was working this morning and we printed it this morning, guess what? We got here, don't want to work. It says no printers detected. Hey, so when this happens, I'm sure you're stressing now. You don't know what to do. How are you guys troubleshooting this? When we first had it happen, we stressed out. But now we know what to do. Now it's like, OK. So what can we do? What do you do? So if we turn our darkroom booth on before we turn our printer on, it doesn't read it. Sometimes we forget to do that because we kept turning it off and on earlier. So now we're going to turn our printer back on. Back on. And now we're going to turn our darkroom booth off back on and that should solve it if it doesn't then we try something else <laughs> those are my strips are those your strips daddy okay yeah, but i'm looking real dark in there oh you are looking a little dark but everything else is good so yeah. let's fix so it's looking a little dark so what we're gonna do is go into our program and change our lighting which dark room booth makes really simple. We go right to the software and fix our camera. From this to this in a click of the button. Stay calm. Troubleshoot, you have a problem, call PBI right away. The Facebook community, especially Jaime, they're on it like that. You have any question, I say help, help in the comments. I shoot a little Loom video and they respond to me right away. Right, so, the event started. Yes. Now everybody's here. Your time is till 7. Are you strict on the time? You're flexible? How do you do it? No, we're very strict on the time. Closing is at 7.01. It's in our contract. If they want to go over, then they go over. And our contract states, too, if someone, while we're closing up, if someone touches our profits and starts using them, that still counts as their time and they got to pay. How much? Okay, so it's... Five minutes. It's, uh, we charge them $50 for like every five minutes. Someone's touching our props. Really? Yeah. Has that ever gotten the issue? Um, before we did the contract, that's why it's in our contract now. Because people were sitting there, we're trying to clean up, but they're taking the props and they're going away out of the photo booth and they're using them. But that's still our time, so. After that, we put in our contract and we had no problems. Contracts are a must. And your contract's gonna change with every experience you have you're going to add on and add on to your contract, believe me. From people jumping over your stanchion, to food on your table, to extra time. It should all be in there. Everybody will be different. What was the last adjustment you made? The last adjustment? Um, please tell your guests not to jump over the stanchions. We had kids jumping over constantly, even though we were opening them and they were falling. Even though I have insurance, I don't want to get in trouble. Gonna show you your second one. Gives you five seconds to say yes. Yeah, that's good. All right, third pose. <laughs> Two, one. Hold it right there. There you go. Here's your third pose. Yes. Yeah. All right. There we go. I'm gonna go ahead and press. It's gonna show you what it's gonna print out. Okay. You like it? Yes. I'm gonna go press and press accept, and then press text. Go ahead and put your phone number in. That way you'll get a digital copy as well as your printed copy. All right, so what are the steps to uh, clean up? So cleaning up, we usually start with closing off the photo booth. And then we start taking down the stanchions. We'll wipe down the props, put them away. Bag up the, always bag up, take care of your props. So see, we bag up our backdrops nicely. All right. Cleaning up is important. Respecting your stuff.
All right, guys, we're done. How do you think it went? It was amazing. Like those prints out of lots of our events we did, that was the best quality yeah. print work that we've done so far. It went real well, it was real so smooth. So smooth set up and, and right easy. Down. All in between the event was so, was so good. Everybody was respectful and nice, didn't disrespect our props. They loved it. We got a lot of compliments, lots of compliments. I love them. They love the booth. Love my hair. Mm -hmm. They loved our booth. We got so many compliments on the booth, like always never lets us down. The Miami Mirror booth by hands down, the best booth you can Definitely get. Definitely recommend it for sure. Hey, so this event, I noticed you were taking pictures. It's a quinceanera, the mom. What was going on there? Um, she didn't want her daughter being posted. On but your I social got, media? On the social media. I got the dad's permission. Yeah. So all I needed was one permission. Yeah. But you know, you try to, you want to be respectful because if you're not respectful, then they're not going to hire her. She already wants to hire us for her other daughters, can say, and maybe for her son's 18th. So it's okay if I can't post the dad's. Like a, the dad showed me which ones I can post. So I can still post some. I can't post them all, but that's okay. At the end of the day, it's not about me. It's about them. I'm capturing their memories. If they don't want people to share it, I'm going to respect that. Has that ever happened before? Where someone said, where someone no. gave you problems? No, no one's ever, no one's ever. But I think what we're gonna start doing is on one of our stanchions posting all photos in our photo booth are posted on social media unless you tell us otherwise. So I think that'll, that'll cause less problems. Put on the contract. It is in our contract. It's in, contract. it's in our contract that all photos are posted on our social media unless she stayed otherwise, which she never did and she signed it. Yeah. But still, she said that after, I'm still gonna respect it. Uh, so technically, you could be I like, could. too bad. Yeah, but because but you... I will lose business. And then I'm gonna lose referrals. And that is not worth social media at all. Mm. Never, never. And there you guys have it. This is how we do our photo booth events. Let me know your experiences with your photo booth in the comments below. If you wanna follow us on our journey, or book our Miami Mirror booth in Stockton, or any of the surrounding areas, follow us at our Instagram, Facebook, or YouTube at Special Occasions Photo Booth. Capturing your memories, one, one photo, photo at, at a time. time.